back with another video. I have to check this video out. <clears throat> Before we get in the video, though, make sure y'all go uh, subscribe to Doug and XL in the description box down below. Um, definitely geek to get in this video. Uh, definitely apologize. You know, I'm not feeling 100% um, right now. I'm not feeling good. Um, I, don't need, I don't know what's going on. You know, I don't know what bug is going on. It felt good yesterday. Like I said in my last video, we had some yard work to do. So we end up putting rocks and stuff and end up uh, painting the deck and stuff like that. Um, and then it ended up raining this morning. So I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is, you know, but um, definitely not feeling well. Uh, Rennie, our, uh, she's about to be three, April uh, 23rd. Um, she's also sick with a cold. So after, uh, you know, get these videos done today, Definitely got to um, get some stuff for her, um, get her some soup and uh, some medicine and stuff. Because one thing that I don't like seeing is just children sick. I don't like seeing anybody sick, but definitely kids. Um, you know, but uh, definitely appreciate everybody. Much love, everybody. Thank y'all for everything that y'all do. Let's go ahead and jump right to it. You know, Democrats in The View have to make a big deal out of everything. Big drama. I don't know if this is nothing or not, but you guys can tell me. If this could put Christy Nome's vice presidency pick in hot water, I doubt it. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where all the happy patriots are. Let's watch. South Dakota Governor Christy Noem has a lot of people scratching their heads about her side hustle, doing an infomercial for a dentist in Texas. You can see already they're trying to drum up drama on this. She went to a yeah. dentist in Texas that's not in her state. Big deal, right? Here's the headline, Christy Noem faces lawsuit after promoting Texas dentists on social media but just so you can see this is they're trying to build this up into something big in case she's the vice president by the but that's what they do and that's why a lot of people uh, talk crazy about the view because of stuff like this it's stuff like this they hate on every single thing wait would she get her teeth fixed if she was not potentially the vice president pick. The Republican governor of South Dakota, Christy Noem, who you see here, is facing new questions tonight from lawmakers in her state and also facing new legal action over this five minute video that she posted, not related at all to her state or her gubernatorial duties, but instead about her teeth. I'm Christy Noem. I'm the governor of South Dakota and had the opportunity to come to Smile, Texas to fix my teeth, which has been absolutely amazing. The team here was remarkable and finally gave me a smile that I can be proud of and confident in. Here's the weird thing is I think this could mean that she's in line for vice president. Like what if they said, hey, and we have a guy in Texas that'll fix your teeth and she goes there and gets them fixed. Yeah. No one at The View or CNN has come up with that angle. So I'm speculating, I'm just going, makes sense to me. Gnome, who I should know. What's wrong with doing that? Like, people. Oh, here is on the short list to be Trump's uh. potential vice presidential pick, posted this five minute uncanny testimonial video. I guess you could say it's about her dental work at a Houston area cosmetic dentistry firm. It was amazing to me how flexible this team was with my schedule, and they are that way with everyone. I'll be eternally grateful. It, it has been a gift to be here at Smile Texas. So maybe I'm asking the wrong question, but she couldn't find a dentist in South Dakota? Why is Christy Noem obligated to only go? Why, that's what I'm saying. Why, why does she need to just go to South Dakota? So just because I live in Indiana, I'm supposed to just go. If I want to go get my teeth fixed somewhere else, I can do that. They, I'm tired of people making stuff to, like that. That gets on my nerves, y'all. That gets on my nerves. You, you, you have to make, especially the view. To go to a, a dentist in her own state. Is that a law? Obviously, someone in Texas gave her a bill, you know, gave her some money to do this infomercial, and she's right there with. Are the, you allowed to with do the, that? With the party of grifters. Christy Nome is a multi-millionaire. Do you think she needs to say uh, to save 500 bucks on teeth by going to a different state? That's ridiculous. Exactly. It sounds like something of convenience or personal knowledge that she has, doesn't have to be illegal. Look, the beloved Miss Tenaple goes to Costco to get gas to save 50 cents or 10 cents a gallon or whatever. And I go like, I just go down the street because I want my gas right down there on the corner. She goes all the way to Costco. So some people go out of their way to save a few bucks. That video has now sparked questions about whether the clip was. Man, I, I do it. I listen. I do that all the time, though. I ain't. I ain't even going. And and that's the thing. <clears throat> with it's it's not so much of, and that's it's it's more so. When I watch Joy, when I watch Whoopi, 
and I watched Sonny Hostin. Like I said before, it's way too much negativity when it comes to these things. It's a lot of negativity that shouldn't really be there. Um, it's more so of I want to know who's buying tickets first of all, like who's buying, like how did it even work out, or if they, you know, even have, you know, like I haven't seen the obviously I haven't seen the audience. I just hear the, you know, the, the clapping. Maybe it's you know fakes. I don't know, but I just don't see and and I shouldn't really say that because I know there's people that's in denial just like that, and that's probably obviously who goes to see but my thing is is they gotta stop that especially something like this that blew up just because she didn't went to a dentist in texas it's, it's crazy to me. was produced or posted to offset the cost of that procedure questions which i should note gnome's office has declined to answer in the nearly 48 hours since she posted it who decides that it's fine to be a governor and get some free whitening strips. We is this? We is, don't is know. This? The world's on fire. Nancy Pelosi is making billions on insider trading schemes. And Christy Nome is uh, saving uh, $20 on whitening strips. Point here, I mean, no one cares if someone has cosmetic procedures or whatever they, no. they have done. And she but... looks great, by the way. Her teeth look great. <laughs> Her teeth do look great. It's a great smile. Oh, good. Now the CNN ladies, we have Blonde and Brunette over there. They're also endorsing the work of the Smile Texas dental firm. They say they look great. She introduced a program last year to recruit people to live and work in her state, but she was promoting a company in Texas, so that's odd. Yeah. Texas is 914 miles away from uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. South Dakota. So answer your question, Whoopi, and to answer your other question, her conduct in this instance would be governed by South Dakota mm -hmm. ethics mm -hmm. laws, and if she was paid to do the ad or receive veneers for free, mm -hmm. that would seem to <laughs> violate the gift rules, Governor. They think it's delicious. They're just praying, hoping. Please do something illegal, Christy Nome. Well, if she did, she did in plain sight. She's out there recording commercials, so obviously she's not trying to hide some kind of an insider trade thing. With all the stress that we're experiencing with this election, I'm starting to grind my teeth. Yeah, and if I watch any more of The View, I'm going to start grinding my face. <laughs> you, you mentioned the potential yeah. legal action. She is facing a lawsuit by a consumer advocacy group, Travelers yes. United, that says that it is an undisclosed advertisement because it doesn't say ad or anything on it. I mean, we've seen other people, people like Kim Kardashian, face actual legal repercussions and have to, to make payments because of something like that. I think Christy Nome was actually being very genuine when she said, thank you for fixing my teeth. Does that always have to be a, a, a paid ad? For people who are on Trump's VP shortlist and the way that they've acted publicly, given he is a very optics driven former presidential candidate. It's true. Um, it looks matter to the former president. Um, and so I suppose if you were vying to be his uh, vice president right now, uh, it's not the dumbest idea in the world to make sure that your smile is particularly camera ready. That's the bigger question is, is this some kind of a tell? Did we just reveal something about her being vice president and getting her teeth fixed? That's more important to me. What do you guys think? Yeah, I definitely want to know that. Too. Christy Nome the vice president pick. And isn't it strange that she happened to get some dental work done in a different state by experts who could be Trump handlers going, we have our special guys that'll take care of your teeth. Or is this much ado about nothing? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, I mean, and, and regardless if it isn't about the whole VP thing, I look at the fact of they should have made this a, a, a really big deal. Speaking on the view, um, and my thing is with this with this whole thing with with Joy uh, doing what she doing and saying what she saying like usual, um, it just irritates me. And to see them being so negative about every single thing and not positive just goes to show they know what this election is about to be. They know who's about to win, and you already know who it is. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe, but definitely appreciate y'all tuning in, watching this reaction. Catch y'all next one.